In this video with the Onking, I'm going to show you how to update your decks and keep your scheduling and edits and I'm going to try and do it within five minutes here. A uh, very quick and easy version. So here's the list of things you need to do. The first thing is preparation. You want to put them all in the same decks with the same names and everything. This isn't actually necessary but it will make things a lot cleaner down the road so I recommend it. The next thing is setting up the special fields add-on and then you're going to import the new update. After that, you're going to clean up things and make it so the tags look a little more organized. You're going to reset the special fields add-on. You're going to check the media, empty your notes, then you'll clear your unused tags, and finally, you'll suspend new cards. I'll show you all of that just in a second here. If you need help with any of this, you can go to this link, check out any of our social medias or our Patreon. We have a whole team of people that are actually happy to help you if you get stuck. Uh, we also have an Anki mastery course if you're getting started with Anki and you want to learn basically everything you need to, to so that you can use this tool really well. Um, it's got tons of lessons and an add-on that will install 50 other add-ons and set all of your settings up correctly and everything. So with that, let's get on to the updates. This original video goes into a lot more detail and I'll link it in the description if you want to watch it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to try and do this as fast and as simply as possible so that anybody can do it. Now the first thing, and I didn't mention this just before, is if you have new cards here, I would recommend doing them. Just go and review them. Um, or you can go in here and find the new cards and suspend them or flag them or whatever you want to do with it. So I'm going to flag these cards um, just so that you can find them easily later because it's going to be, if new cards get mixed in, it's going to be confusing. So you've got your decks here. You want to make sure your deck is set up exactly like the deck that you're importing. Uh, in my case, it's titled Onking. You've got to spell it exactly the same, same capitals and everything. And then you want the layout to look exactly like this. If it changes in the future, you want to make it look the same just so that cards get imported incorrectly. But not absolutely necessary for the update to work, but it makes things cleaner. The next step is to set up the special fields add-on. So I'm going to go to tools and then special fields. And here's the special fields add-on. And I'm going to click update settings. And now you can see it changes things around. Now the two parts you have to manually do is the fields here and then the tag here. So I'm going to go in the browser and show you what you would want to do. So if I click on the decks and you can see here's a flashcard of mine. Now if these are my personal notes and these are missed question notes. Now, I'm not putting anything in these four fields here, at least for this deck. Um, but these two fields I definitely want to protect. And then you can see down here I've got tags that I want to keep and tags I want to lose. And if you have lots of them, you can just drag them all under one head tag um, using this feature in the, in, this, in the sidebar, or at least on newer Anki versions. But I want to keep these ones, and then I don't care if these get overwritten and, and disappear. So tag to keep. And you want to keep in mind kind of what that is. So I'm going to go to Tools, Special Fields again. Now make sure that the fields that you want to be protected are listed in here. If you need to add them, you can add and you got to type it. Again, it's got to be the exact same spelling, punctuation, capitalization, whatever. Exactly the same. And then under Protected Tags, I'm going to type Keep because that was the tag. It had the word Keep in it. It doesn't have to be the exact tag. It just needs to be part of the tag and you can hover over this and it kind of gives it an explanation. I'm going to go ahead and click save. That's all you need to do for setting up the special fields add-on. And then the next step is to import the deck. So I'm going to go ahead and click this, click import. It's going to process. I used a version without media just for this video so that it goes faster. But for you, it may take a while, especially if it's a large file. Um, and after this is done processing, you're going to get a pop-up that shows up. And I highly, highly recommend that you look at that pop-up and see what it says because um, it's going to give you some information on whether this actually went proper, uh, went correctly or not. Okay, so now I got the pop-up here. This is theoretically what you should see. Notes updated as file head version. You don't want it to say notes skipped. If the notes were skipped, then your special fields add-on was not set up properly or it was not up to date. Uh, in that case, you know you'd want to check for updates. And then you can see it added a bunch of notes. So we got new notes. And that's why I recommended identifying the new cards here or reviewing them beforehand. So I'm going to close that. You can see it added lots of notes here. And I'm going to go into the browser. Well, actually, let's see. The first thing I've got on my list to do is go to tools. And then we're going to go to special fields add-on. And I'm going to click the import tag settings button. We clicked the update settings before. I'm going to click uh, import tags. That just makes it so that if you import anything, it's, it's not going to cause any issues. The next thing I'm going to do is tools, check media. 
And this one, all of them are missing, so it's not a big, uh, you know, they're not gonna do it. And then tools, empty cards, I would also recommend doing. You can see there's no empty cards. Then I'm going to go into the browser and I'm going to go to notes and clear unused tags. That'll make things, and you can notice these are V11 now instead of V10. And you can see my tag to keep is still there. But we do have some new cards that we didn't necessarily want. So I'm going to click on new and then I'm going to type not is suspended with a negative sign in front. We'll do that. And this is 210 cards. That, so, and you can see the three that I had before are flagged. So I'm going to click this, click through the rest of these and suspend these for now because that's how I want them. Uh, just a quick and easy way to do that. Uh, and that's it. Now you've updated. Thanks for learning with the Onking. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at OnkingMed. Also, feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, ongingmed.com, for more tips and tricks.